Welcome back to the Real Estate Rundown with Richard Neese, uh, where we help good people get to a better place. I appreciate you guys tuning in for the second segment of our show, uh, where we have the, our guest, Shirley Quattlebaum. Shirley, say hey to everybody and let them know who you are and what you do. Hey, everybody, all the WKUL fans. Um, I'm Shirley Quattlebaum. I've been a State Farm agent here since 1988, helping people realize their dreams and recover from the unexpected. Absolutely. So Shirley's been doing it for a little while. She knows what she's doing. She's got a great team behind her that helps her help more people. And that's what we're all about. We're going to be talking a little bit about how insurance affects the real estate process. And we'll get into a little bit more stuff too about how you can bundle it and some other things. Uh, But we're so gracious for Shirley. Uh, Thank you so much for being on the show. The first thing we want to talk about is uh, the problem that I have the most. You know, we have somebody that we actually get a contract on a house and then one of the next steps we have to do is actually get that insurance quote so we can see how much the, the loan's going to be, how much the closing costs are going to be. Uh, can you give us any guidance on when we should do that, how we should do that? Well, for me, I would go ahead and give us a call or, or go to online or come by the office so just as soon as you sign that contract. How do they call you? Two five six two five five one five one five. There you go. So, so we give Shirley a call, and then what sort of information do we need, um, or do the customers need in order to get a good quote? Well, most of the information you're going to know off the top of your head. Um, we're going to ask personal information about you, your your birthday, you know, who you are, where the home is, and then a little more detailed information about the house. You know, you may not know every single answer to the question, but we have resources, the tax assessor's website or um, going online to get additional information about the house. But you're going to know most of the questions just off the top of your head. You make a great point there, Shirley. You know, it, it's not just the person that's getting the insurance. It's not just the house. They need both, both sides of that, and that's how you're going to calculate the quote. Is that right? Exactly. So, so we've got the actual quote. Uh, we, we didn't wait till the last minute, but if we do wait till the last minute, can we still make that happen? In the yes, last we week? can make it happen. How do you guys do that? I mean, is it is it just technology? Is it? It's technology. Okay, Isn't we can make it happen. <laughs> we can get it to your mortgage company. We can be there for you on your closing. That's great, and you know that's an important step because we were talking about at the closing, you it factors in closing costs. So, how, how do you actually factor that in, or what what way does that play a part in the closing? as far as the cost go? Yeah. Generally speaking, your mortgage company is going to want you to pay the first year up front. And that is a part of your closing costs. So in your closing, the, the attorney is going to send a check right. straight to State Farm for that first year. Then each month in your mortgage payment, you're going to pay one month's worth of insurance. So we're going to take the premium, divide it by 12, and you'll pay that amount in with your mortgage payment every month so at the end of the year State Farm's then going to send the bill to your mortgage company and they are going to pay it that way you're insured the money's going to be there to pay your insurance Absolutely. That's it won't catch you off guard that's really important to know because a lot of folks don't realize uh, that if you buy a property let's say I bought it cash uh, mm-hmm. And then the mortgage company is not escrowing that. If you don't pay your ins- or if you don't pay your insurance or taxes, you know, especially with the tax side, you can actually have the house sold out from under you or have a lien placed on it for the taxes. So we need to make sure that taxes and insurance are always paid, whether it's paid in lump sum, whether it's paid monthly or with escrows. That's an important topic that your agent should go over it with you. But at the end of the day, it falls on you to make sure that you're protected. Exactly. And that's, that's the biggest thing. Uh, so the next thing we want to talk about is, uh, you know, we have homeowners insurance, we have uh, car insurance, automobile insurance. Is there a way that we can bundle all that together so it's cheaper? Of course. Of course, there is a significant discount for riding your home with the same carrier as your auto. Um, But we also offer other insurance that need to be bundled in there. When you buy a home, you're taking off on additional responsibility. You need to be sure to protect your family um, in case of death or disability because more homes are lost due to death and disability than even fire. I understand. So, but so we you, can, want, you want to make sure all of those things are covered, and, mm-hmm. and so you've got a, a long list of things insurance-wise. You're not just a homeowner's insurance company. You're right. not just an automobile insurance company. We're insuring families. We're insuring people. We want to make sure to we want to get to know them so that we can find out where they have gaps in coverage and ensure what they need to have covered, not necessarily just what the bank needs to have covered, 
Right. You know, we're going to take care of the bank, but we're also going to take care That's of the right. person. And we definitely want to take care of people, helping good people get to a better place. Uh, so the next thing I want to talk about are deductibles. So we start figuring in how much it's going to cost monthly, and it does affect the real estate agent as well because if you have a lower deductible, then you're going to have a higher monthly payment, which, I mean, in turn uh, rolls into, hey, that's the total package. Uh, we're paying X amount. If we have a higher deductible, is that going to be lower? Is the yes. payment going to be lower? Yes. The higher the deductible, the lower the insurance premiums. And people are beginning to lean toward higher deductibles nowadays. Some mortgage companies have a certain limit that they'll allow you to, to work with, but people are looking at one half percent or one percent of their coverage amount for their deductible. For instance, if they have a $100,000 home, they have a half a percent deductible, that would only be $500. So they probably want to consider a one percent deductible, which would be a thousand. Or then on a $200,000 home, that would be a $2,000 deductible. So we've talked about how you pay for it. We've talked about different ways to do that as far as higher deductibles, lower deductibles, uh, why we need insurance. Uh, can you tell me, uh, I know a lot of people, well, I shouldn't say a lot, but some people ask me uh, what's the difference between replacement costs and actual cash value. Uh, do you get that question very often, or is that something that you guys work with? Of course. Richard, there's a huge difference between replacement cost and actual cash value. Um, replacement cost, if you should, if you should have a loss, bases your payment on what it costs to replace your items. Replace it plus tax, plus delivery, plus everything. Right. To put that item back in your house or put that roof back on your house. Actual cash value looks at what it would cost to replace it and then depreciates it right. for the age. So if you've got um, an item like a washing machine that's 10 years old and maybe the life expectancy of a washing machine is 10 years, they're going to depreciate 10% for every year. We don't want to be in that business. I understand. We want to replace what people have lost. So we're about to be up against a break. We want to make sure that everybody knows who you are and how to get a hold of you. So let people know real quick. Shirley Quattlebaum, State Farm Insurance, 256-255-255. 1515. So you know Shirley, um, I'm going to give you guys my information as well. Richard Neese with Happy Homes. You can contact me at 256-708-1511. We can get your house under contract and Shirley can insure it. Catch us on the other side.